Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. In today's video guys, we will show you a common problem with, with Hyundai Elantra. If you have a Hyundai Elantra from 2011 to 2016 guys, uh, that's a very common problem. When you start the engine, you hear a ticking sound, okay, ticking knock. So, that usually happens when the car is cold too, okay, usually that's when you start noticing that ticking okay and let me demonstrate now the car is warm and it's still has it, it at first it was a little bit you go away then we'll come back when it's cold okay so let me show you what it sounds like now okay you can hear tick, 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 tick. that's that's the sound guys okay and we give it a little bit more gas and you can definitely hear it like a knock ticking. It sounds like a diesel engine a little bit. So guys, I did quite a bit of research online for that thing. So much research and usually the powertrain warranty is up to 60,000 miles and the car has 69,000 miles. And I, I found out that most of the people have that problem at around 70, 71,000 miles. Some people say about 100,000 miles, but most of the cases are about, uh, on average, about 7, 70,600 miles. So, uh, you, can, uh, you can call even a Hyundai dealership and you see that it's a common problem and I'm surprised that they didn't recall it. The most common reason, guys, it's a piston slap. What happens? Uh, where the piston connects to the connecting rod develops, develops a play and you hear that slap. Okay, every time the piston goes up and down, it's like that ticking, ticking noise. That could be one of them. Another thing, it could be, it could be a crankshaft bearing, but it definitely sounds more like an upper, upper uh, problem. So definitely sounds like a piston. Or, uh, or another thing that could be is a timing chain tensioner. That's very possible too. It's hydraulic timing chain tensioner. So that could be as well. So uh, today, guys, we're gonna change the oil. Okay see if that fixes the problem if that doesn't fix the problem guys subscribe to the channel we will if we have to we will take the whole engine apart to find the problem and in the meantime we'll have more than 200 videos on that car okay everything will be taken apart so if you have one you know how to fix yours so thank you guys for watching let's go ahead and see now if the engine uh, uh, if the oil change will fix that so we are going to clean the bucket really good and uh, while we did that we want to see what we are going to get out of the engine when we drain the oil to see if we are going to have any metal shavings uh, that will, not, will definitely be not a good sign but we want to make sure that we check everything before we start taking things apart. So we are putting the new oil in and see if that is going to fix the problem now. We are almost ready. Okay so we have the oil now here. And we're going to uh, put it in that uh, gallon and see what we have on the bottom of the bucket. That's very important to see if we have any metal shavings. Okay, so that's the moment of the truth. And we're going to start the car next, drive it a little bit and see if that fixes the problem. Have to be careful towards the end to make sure that we don't empty uh, absolutely everything in the in that gallon that we have here okay so we're going to see what we have on the bottom okay I don't see okay any metal shavings at all we have a little bit of uh, dirt that we dropped okay but as you can see there is no metal shavings it will be like that uh, grayish uh, grayish 10 cover on the bottom usually and we don't have it so that's a good sign so let me show you now another thing okay on the menu on the back you can see the engine oil that's approved on the fuel cap under the engine uh, under the hood it says that you can use 520 and the manual recommends 520 530 1030 if normal temperatures are above this in this page see that so you can go depending on the climate guys up to 10w30 we put 5w30 which is a little bit thicker oil than what we had in it so we'll see if that's going to fix the problem i think that last wipe there that will that will heal the engine you have to you have to show some respect to the engine you respect you okay let's fingers crossed
Okay, no. No knock at all compared to what we had before. It's significantly less like you can you can barely barely hear anything. Just Okay, and with time it's getting even better. Wow, that definitely so far fixed the problem. If anything else comes up, we'll definitely have it on the video. But seems like that definitely fixed the problem so far. Okay, I don't hear any knock at all. Run smooth now. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Many more videos to come on that thing. And see you next time.